Hi! Um, welcome to my very first video blog. Uh, my name is Christine Norris, and if you're on my regular blog and seeing this video, then you kind of know who I am. If you are run across this video on YouTube, however you found it, you're probably going, who is this chick, and why am I listening to her? All right, fine, I'll tell you who I am, because um, you probably have no idea. Well, I'm a, a writer for tweens and young adults. I've written a bunch of fantasy novels um, that you've probably never heard of, uh, but I'll show them to you. Here they are. Look, here's one. Like this. That's yeah, that's a good one. Um and this. And this one here. All right. And we have another one coming in uh March or April that's gonna be the fourth in that series. And um I'm really looking forward to that. So that's great. And uh if you're still here and listening to me, awesome. Uh thanks for sticking around. Um well, what I wanted to talk to you today, why I wanted to video blog, I've never done a video blog before, but uh, I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I have this lovely little webcam here, and two techno tips that you need to know about using a webcam. A, disable the face tracking, or else you're going to get the thing randomly zooming in and like this. And two, make sure your microphone works. Yeah, uh, this is like the fifth time I've done this today. So I kind of know what I'm going to say. Let's get on with it before I bore you to death. Um... I'm a writer and I've been writing for about 10 years. I've been published since 2005. Uh, and that book and the one after it are actually out of print. So, um, but I'm putting out no editions. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, well, 11, it was December of five, so six years. I can count. And, um, Another threshold that I've reached in my little career, I've done a lot of other things. I've done some freelance work. I've done some rewriting work. I've written some short stories. I've done a bunch of things um, in those six years. But the, the reason I'm blogging today is because the other day, uh, somebody said to me in an email, they said, wow, you have an agent now. Uh, and I do. And she's awesome. Hi, Terry. Um, but you have an agent now. You are a professional. And I was like, that's great. And, and this person was, she's totally sweet. She didn't mean anything, but I love the fact that she thought to say it to me, but it just made me stop and go, now I'm a professional. Um, I kind of thought I was before. Uh, and so I wanted to sort of blog about what makes a professional writer. And, um, I think a lot of people who aren't in the business has this, have this image of, People like Stephanie Meyer and J.K. Rowling and Stephen King and William Patterson and all those really big name authors. And they think that a professional writer uh, sits around in their pajamas and drinks coffee and um, writes all day. And that's what they do. And it must be a great life to make millions and millions of dollars sitting around in your pajamas, drinking coffee and looking at a computer screen and writing all day and having a good time making up stuff. And uh, it must be. And if you ever find out what that's like, let me know. OK, because um, I don't. Uh, and I don't know a lot of writers that do. Those Stephanie Myers and J.K. Rowlings and Stephen Kings of the world are the exception to the role. Um, totally believe me. And um, I think a lot of the people who aren't writers and aren't in the publishing industry get that that, that image. Um, and then we have movies that sort of feed that image of this, you know, uh, angsty guy sitting at a computer or a typewriter in the old days, clack, clack, clacking on keys and, and getting frustrated and throwing things out. And well, yeah, it's just not the way it is here in the 21st century. Um, <laughs> sorry to be so blunt, but I, I don't know a lot of writers who do that, who do nothing but write. I do know a few. Um, and some of them have spouses who are fully supportive and who have health insurance and, um, retirement funds and all that great stuff to so that they can sit at home and write whether they do it in their pajamas and drinking coffee I don't know I didn't ask but uh I don't know too many other people I know a lot of people who like me get up Monday to Friday and go to a job and then still write and still publish and still do author events and still do a lot of other things so being a writer a professional writer doesn't mean you sit around in your pajamas all day and drink coffee and chain smoke cigarettes or whatever it is eat bonbons i don't know not too many people still do that it's this you know we're in the 21st century we need to get with it and realize that 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 particular kind of writer is out um if you ask, let me see, what is the definition of a professional as someone who makes money doing what they do? And I know a lot of people who've made money doing what they do. I've made money doing uh, writing, 
um, I've made money, you know, advanced money, royalty money. I've been paid for freelance work and paid very well for freelance work. Not, you know, I'm not JK Rowling or Stephanie Meyer. Nobody really is, but thank, you know, good for them. But, um, I've made money. I've been paid for writing work. So I guess I've been a professional writer for a long time. As I said, if you ask the government, I've been a professional writer for three or four years now because I've had to declare income and expenses. And, you know, <laughs> I have to declare the expenses because if I don't declare the income, I have to pay taxes on it. And so that's how that works. But, um, but yeah, the, the government thinks I've been a professional and I've declared myself as a, as a business for a couple of years. So I guess I've been a professional in that respect for a while. Uh, but there are a lot of people out there who haven't sold a lot of books, who haven't done a lot of author events, who haven't, done a, you know, so are they professionals or are they not professionals? What it makes you a professional writer? Um, if you don't, you know, spend every waking moment writing or, or whatever. Um, and I got to say lovelies and darlings that, I think it's attitude that makes you a professional writer. Uh, I think it's the goal you have in mind for your writing that makes you a professional writer. If your goal in writing is for other people to read it, is for people to read it besides um, your cat, your spouse, the creepy guy that lives down store, it's downstairs, the, uh, the pizza delivery guy. Uh, if you want people to be able to go buy it and expect them to pay you money to read your stuff, um, and you want it to be good enough to be paid to be read, then I think you're a professional writer. I think if you make strides in order to get to that goal, if you have a critique group, if you, um, seek out, uh, industry people, if you seek out industry, your way into the industry, if you sort of learn about the business of writing, because oh, that's a whole other blog post right there, being a business person, as well as an artistic person. That's, I could go on for days about that. But, um, if you are making that effort, if you go to writers conferences, you know, and you put out that money and I'll tell you, if you are, and you, you can write all that stuff off. I mean, again, it's another whole tax it's another whole uh, blog post about business of writing but if you are putting forth that time and effort into making your writing getting it up to the point where people want to pay you for it then you are a professional writer even if you don't have an agent um even if you <sighs> To have one book published or no books published or 10 books published and they're all with a small press. Even if you, um, you know, you know, if you go to two writers conferences a year, if you, cause I've, I've done a lot of panels. I've been invited to conferences. I've been invited to conventions. I've done panels. I'm going to be on faculty this year at the New Jersey Society of Children's and Book Writers Illustrators, uh, annual conference. And I'm so excited about that. Um, then I think if, if your goal is to be paid for writing, you are a professional writer. All right. Um, or at least you're on your way to being a professional writer. You have that attitude of being a professional writer. You're not just a hobbyist. Uh, and that's what I say about that. So don't somebody tell you just because you haven't done something, just because you don't have an agent or you don't have a contract with a New York publisher, that you're not a professional writer. Because that's bull. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, well, I've been rattling on for like nine minutes now. So, um, all right. I'll uh, let you go. And have a great day. And maybe I'll come and do one of these again if everybody likes what they're hearing. I'll, I'll do another one. Bye. Have a great day.